Good morning. It is May the 19th. It's a Tuesday. And our reading for this day is from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 through 12. Finally, all of you have unity of spirit, sympathy, love for one another, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Do not repay evil for evil or abuse for abuse, but on the contrary, repay with a blessing. It is for this that you were called, that you might inherit a blessing. For those who desire life and desire to see good days, let them keep their tongues from evil and their lips from speaking deceit. Let them turn away from evil and do good. Let them seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. So here we are in in First Peter, and and just as a reminder, First Peter was. Um, not written by Paul, but rather probably by one of Paul's students um, who would have um, signed Paul's name as the writer. And this was something very, very common in that day, giving, and, and it was a sign of honor, actually, um, for a student to sign their teacher's name. So that's probably what went on here. In, in in the the churches in Asia Minor in this time again as reminder we're we're facing the beginning of of Rome um, it's Rome's really kind of battle against Christianity so they were looking forward to hard times and so first Peter and and in these texts he's trying to prepare those congregations for for those hard times that are indeed coming. And in short, what he says is, is that they must be careful not to hurt each other during the hard times. You know, the whole sense of, of, of letting the hard times kind of totally and completely dictate or, or spoil their lives. And then what he follows with is, is a quote from Psalm 34. And, and I mention that to you in case you want to compare First Peter to Psalm 34. There's, there is something very true about this passage from First Peter, isn't there? Yeah. What is it about when we're feeling awful or bad or down that it is those that we're closest to that seem to get the brunt of what we're feeling? No, it, 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 we, 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 we kind of do that, don't we? Now, I suppose maybe part of that is because they're around us more and, and, and we can look at other reasons, I suppose. But what the writer of First Peter is trying to say here is that if we rather focus on the love, the positive pieces as to why these people are are. Um, our spouses, our friends, our family, all of those things, that tends to find, or we tend to find strength when we do that. And strength actually to, to meet the hard times. So rather than folk letting the hard times kind of overwhelm us and drown out that positive, it's a reverse. It's a reverse back to say, but my feelings for these people are more important. Certainly, we're all experiencing hard times right now. In addition, some of us are actually experiencing more. In, or in addition to COVID-19, there's other stuff, of course, going on. First Peter's trying to help us help us by saying, focus on the positive that you have for family and friends. If it helps, take time just to sit and write it down. Right? What about those close to me matter to me? What are the positives about that person or persons? 
and, and kind of write it down. These are the positives. These are the things that will help us through hard times, difficult times. Certainly, those things are real and present. We must deal with this stuff. That's true, too. But your relationship with those you love matter more. Let us pray. Help us, dear God, to focus on you above all things. That as we all face these trying times of a pandemic, help us, dear God, to put you first in our thoughts. And then as we focus on your love, help us then to focus on the people around us who we care for. Help us to care for them. And that, dear God, wrapped in your love and their love, we would have the strength to face and do the things that we need to do. Certainly, dear God, we pray for an end to this pandemic, an end to COVID-19. Bring your healing power to all of those who have been affected by this pandemic. Be with those who are recovering. Dear God, we, we ask your healing power and spirit to be with them. We are grateful, dear God, for those who work on front lines, no matter where they are and for whom they work. We ask your, your blessing, dear God, and your protection. Especially, dear God, we mention Cindy, Nick, David, Joe, and Jim. Dear God, we also pray that you would be with those who lead us and make the rules. That, dear God, you would help them to work together and make decisions that are in our benefit and in accordance with your will. We pray all these things through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.